My name is Eric Phipps, and I'm with Junction Networks and OnSip.com. Today is September 4th, and we're going to be unboxing VVX101 from Polycom. The VVX101 is the entry-level phone for the next generation of Polycom devices. This phone is good for those who only need one line at a station, for situations such as a home office or a shared common area. The VVX101 is the most basic device in this line and as such only has a single SIP account and a basic LCD screen, though it also supports a duplex speaker for speakerphone calls and it also supports power over Ethernet. However, we ordered our devices with an AC adapter. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. So it's got pretty standard, good quality uh, packaging from uh, Polycom. Nothing new here, nothing super exciting. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when we actually open it up. Okay, so the VVX101 and the 201 are super similar, uh, so much to the point that they actually look like they contain the same quick start guide. Uh, so as you can see, you get the phone, you get the base stand, uh, the handset cord, network cable, handset, and then this quick start guide. And we're expected to find the AC adapter. Hopefully that will be in this box. We haven't actually checked it yet. So it looks like it's got um, the pretty standard uh, desktop installation that's sort of similar to all of the, uh, all of the older phones, the Soundpoint IP phones, uh, as opposed to like the slide-in kind that you have with the current VVX series, um, or rather the higher-end VVX series. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have pretty good, pretty standard Cat5 communication cable. We have the phone. Uh, the phone itself is secured inside bubble wrap. I'll do my best to try to not pop it. Oh, yeah, we'll pop one. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Polycom device here. Um, as you can see, this is a very small screen. Uh, there's only two lines here, uh, even though it only supports one line. I'm curious if this is the same um, outer shell as the VVX uh, 201. Let's see here. Yeah, they look they look about the same. Of course, you know this is only this is the first time we've opened one of these. Um, it's kind of heavy for a Polycom device. It's not going to rattle around or shake or anything like that. Um, good responsiveness. Let's see what we have in the rest of the box. So it looks like everything is put together pretty much like a you know, like a 3D puzzle or like Tetris or Welchus, if you remember that uh, offshoot game from the 80s. Let's go ahead and just take out this entire lining. So we have, thankfully, we have our AC adapter. We have a pretty standard phone, or handset rather, for the phone. Then we have the handset cable. Okay. Let's go ahead and set this up and then try to boot it up. Uh, what I'm going to do first is we're going to go ahead and get the power set up because it takes a while for these things to boot up sometimes. And you know, we certainly don't want to waste too much of your time as we try to see how long this takes to boot up. Let's get this off. Aha! Thank you. Here we have the stand. Uh, you know, it's a good quality stand. It's got the standard reinforcement. It has uh, some really nice little bumpers here on the bottom, so it looks like that's not gonna that's not gonna slide anywhere. Let's see here if we can get some pretty good little gel tips. Um, there's a little bit of movement uh, in the actual stand itself, but of course that's just because you know there is a bit of give here. So let's go ahead and set this up. Oh, let's take a look at the back here. So here we have, um, wait for that to focus. Here you'll see that we do not have the ability to uh, plug a PC into this. This is only has one ethernet cable and that's so that it can go directly to the LAN. Here we have the power cable and here we have the handset. So up here, um, it's actually some interesting modeling. Uh, wait for that to focus. There we go. Here you can actually see where the uh, the headset would go, uh, as opposed to being placed down here. So it looks like there's a design uh, to let that cable go there, but it looks like there's actually not one. I'm curious if that's the difference between the VVX 101 and the 201, 
And of course, we haven't seen the, the 201 yet, so we can't really comment. This should just slide in like that. Yeah, it's pretty stable there. Doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. Um, everything seems pretty good. I'm curious if this is difficult to take off because it seems that this mounting is also usable for the wall mounting. Um, you just slide that into that top divot there. And there you have your wall mounted unit. So it looks like it's at a bit of an angle there. But that should be fine. Um, this one is actually, thankfully, much easier to take on, or uh, put on and take off than the one from the Soundpoint IP series. As you can see, I was able to just essentially snap that on and off. Um, if you're familiar with trying to use the Soundpoint IP series, you'll know that that can be kind of a nightmare uh, to try to set up uh, or to try to remove the uh, the connector, which is good if you're not moving it around a lot. But in my job, you know, we actually do move this stuff around quite a bit. Here's our cable go ahead and try to plug it in and we will see how long it takes for this thing to boot up. Okay, and there's our first look at the screen there. Oh, hi. I wonder if this video camera is now self-aware because it can see itself in the mirror. Alright, let's go ahead and tilt that away from that so you're not getting caught on that. Alright, so it looks like it's going to do its standard boot up stuff. While it's doing this, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the handset and plug in the cable for that. That is a really small screen uh, here, but you can tell that you know it's pretty sharp around the edges. It's very easy to read, uh, at least for me. Application started, it's still booting. Here, it's initializing the device. here on the plastic. We'll go ahead and remove that. Oh, and look at that. It looks like the device is actually already up. Uh, so this is actually quite a fast device. Um, as you can see, it's got the incorrect date and time uh, because it's not reaching out to anywhere. However, it does know that the time and date is out of sync. Uh, you can see that it's not registered there. This is quite a speedy little thing here. Go ahead and slide that through. All right, and there you can see the screen. You can see that the uh, device is not registered. Uh, it looks like it will really only support one line, um, and it is a good, good clear LCD screen. Uh, nothing too exciting is going on here. Uh, let's see here. Let's hit home. Let's see if you can actually make that out a bit. I'm getting a little bit of glare there, so I'll try to find something else to aim that. It's good, responsive. Messages, corporate directories, forward, do not disturb, and settings. Uh, it doesn't look like much has changed between uh, the normal stuff that you'd see on Polycom Soundpoint IPs or the VVXs. Status, platform, network, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's a fairly good design. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to... It's not going to be great for people who need like a lot of lines or a lot of phone calls or anything like that, but since this is essentially designed for home office or for shared common areas, um, you can tell that it's you know, pretty well designed for that. Uh, just for a sense of scale, because this is like one of the smaller Polycom devices that we've seen, uh, this is actually an iPhone uh, 5, so you can take a look at that and see you know, what size that is. So it's really, <laughs> I'm curious if this is uh, smaller than one of those tablets. Um, I actually don't know, don't have one, so I couldn't tell you. So yeah, so this is the VBX 101 one line. And so essentially what we're going to do from here is we're going to move on to configure it, and then we're going to run it through over 30 tests for functionality and for sound quality. And then the full write-up and review will be available at www.onsip.com. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.